guys, Casey here, and I am the creator and operator of Cass's Mystical Corner or KMK Designs. And I just decided to start this channel to give information about stones and their composition, their properties, and things of that nature. I also would like to showcase some of the things that I've created with these stones. I might possibly do some other things. I haven't really figured it out yet. Uh, this is just the very beginning. So I've got a flood of ideas going on in my head and not much more of a plan yet than, you know, showing off my items and going over stones and things. So hopefully so my ideas will come to fruition and uh, we can, uh, you know, sit here and have some fun together with it. I've always loved stones and crystals. I started back in my 20s, you know, looking at, you know, all the pretty rocks, crystals, gemstones. I collected rocks as, kid, as a kid, but, uh, Back in 2020, during the pandemic, is when I actually started making jewelry with them. And a lot of people, you know, had hobbies that they started during the pandemic and everything. And I was definitely one of them. I started with bracelets first. And uh, I was just giving those away as, you know, birthday and Christmas presents. But my, my roommate and my best friend... Uh, they both told me that, you know, they thought my stuff was pretty cool, so why don't I start selling them? That was probably about the end of 2020, and KMK was officially opened in March of 2021. Like I said, I started out with bracelets first, and uh, did that for about a year. I make designs based on you know, the properties of the stones, uh, but also I like to make stuff that just looks really pretty or, you know, is inspired by nature and things like that. Some of my nature designs are my sunflower bracelet, uh, the ones I have that represent the four seasons and things like that. I have America the Beautiful, which is based off of the American flag. And I actually did some research on that to make sure that I got, you know, representation for all of the stars in the flag, the striping of the red and white stripes correctly, and all of that jazz. And I think that one's actually really cool. I made one based off of the solar system. That was a request by a friend. And just, I like to make things with lots of different meanings. I get inspired with you know, everyday things. I got inspired by anime at one point, and I have ideas to make some bracelets that are based off of that, but I haven't actually started those yet. I do have a bunch of bracelets for Halloween based off of my favorite Halloween characters and things like that, so go and check that out. I wasn't sure what platform to use to sell. A lot of people use Facebook Marketplace and things like that. But my best friend told me that she was using Shopify at the time. So that's what I decided to go with. And I really like Shopify because it syncs with my Facebook page, my Pinterest page. And I can update in one place and it will update in all the places. And I think that's a really nice feature. And it's not like super expensive every month. So I've stayed with Shopify this entire time. After... I'd been on Shopify for a while and had been making bracelets for a while. I decided to go ahead and start wire wrapping. I started that sometime last year, probably about the middle of the year. My wire wrapping designs are pretty simple and I use mostly copper, although I do have some sterling silver as well as some silver plated wire. But, uh, I really want to just showcase the stone. I don't do a lot of weaving. I don't do a lot of very intricate designs. 
and you'll see that whenever I start showcasing. Well, actually, I have some up already in my shorts area of some of my wire wraps. And you can see that they're all, you know, just simple little designs, really meant to show off the stone and not so much be, uh, you know, intricate and lots of weaves and lots of different parts and stuff. I'll start doing those eventually. Uh, I do use tutorials sometimes. Most of my wraps are just wrapping around the stone and I don't really follow a tutorial. I have used a tutorial once or twice. And soon I'm hoping to go into making those more intricate designs. So I'll be using tutorials at least to start out with to give myself a basis and the skills to uh, be able to make my own stuff in you know the future, my own designs in the future. Uh, my biggest inspirations in regards to wire wrapping are people you can actually find here on YouTube. That's Kelly Jones Tutorials, Erica Scroggins, Susie Wong, Katie Parker, Ozana Crafts, and Perfectly Twisted Jewelry. I think they're all on YouTube. And uh, they're definitely some of the most creative people that I have had the pleasure of watching. And they've taught me an absolute ton in regards to wire wrapping. But like I said earlier, my biggest goal with this channel is just to have fun, to showcase my products, you know, give out some info about the stones, maybe fun facts. I'm thinking about doing uh, like stories whenever I'm doing the wire wrapping and stuff and things like that. And uh, yeah, so hopefully you can come and enjoy me on this wild ride. I'm not sure what my posting schedule is going to be like yet. I do work a full-time job. But I'm hoping this will be the first of many videos to come. I need to give a shout out to Karin Zartopia. She's my best friend. She's the one of the ones that really pushed me to actually start my business and everything. Uh, I'll have a link to her shop down in the bottom. She does a bunch of tabletop RPG related stuff like for Dungeons and Dragons. She has dice bags. She has little statues. She, This is so dirty it needs to be dusted off. But she made this clay dragon for me. She's made me a few different things and she uses all different types of media to, to create things for tabletop RPG. So go and give her a look if that is your uh, your thing, and uh, I hope to see you in the next video.